Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, I am not feeling that well today. I am catching a little cold. My throat is getting there, and um, I have a major headache. So y'all just pray for me, Lord. <laughs> and um, so I'm gonna make this a really quick class, but I wanted to come on here and. Um, do the Bible study with you guys um, because it's important. So welcome back to Visionary Academy. My name is Michaela, Miss Michaela. I'm a teacher here at Visionary Academy, basically teaching about life and how to become the greatest version of yourself. So let's start. So um, we're just going to get into a quick little meditation and prayer right now. Um, if you need any requests, email me. If you want to comment below, um, email me on any prayers that you guys need for yourself. Um, and do not forget to breathe while you're meditating. So it's just going to be a quick little minute meditation, two minute meditation, probably a minute today <laughs> um, regarding um, prayer. So if you can just close your eyes and um, just relax as much as possible. Go ahead and make sure you're breathing in and breathing out. And just rest your mind for a second. Rest your thoughts. Lord, we come to you today. Just thankful, Lord, as always. We love you. We praise you. We are blessed. We are loved. We may get tired, but we have another day. Thank you, God, for ideas. Thank you, God, for movement. Thank you, God, for joy. Thank you, God, for trials, because with you, we know that we can't accomplish anything. I just pray that whoever is needing you to show up in their life, Lord, you show up in their life, Lord. You give them everything that they need at this moment. Because you are a God of restoration. You restore everything we ever lost. Physically and spiritually. Thank you, God. And you want to make sure you breathe in on this last count. And breathe out. Amen. All right. So we're going to get right back into the um, Bible study uh, plan. Believing is seeing. And if you just think about that line, believing is seeing. That's, am that's amazing. Not seeing is believing, but the opposite. You got to believe it first in order to see it. So let's start. So last time I was on day two on accident. I don't know why it jumps like that, which is so irritating. Sorry, guys. So we're actually going to go back to day one and we're going to see what Tony Evans has to say about believing and seeing on day one instead of um, last time we did Bible study last Wednesday, I actually jumped to day two. Believing comes before seeing. 
seeing what God wills to do, wants to do, and will accomplish in your life. You must believe before you can see. Matthew 17, Jesus makes the complaint that people do not understand and refuse to exercise faith. In fact, he gets frustrated even. How long do I have to do what I've done before you will take me at my word? In fact, if you will exercise biblical faith, if you will take God at his word and act in light of what he says, you will see more. If you're waiting to see it before you believe it, you may be waiting a long time. But if you will believe it and act in light of it, then you will get to see some things that will blow your mind. In fact, Jesus makes the statement, you'll be able to speak to the mountain. The mountain is whatever in your life is seemingly unovercomable, too big for you to get around. You'll be able to speak to the problem, the situation, and it will have to respond. So let's start putting our belief before our sight so that our sight will reflect our belief. All right, so I want you to all bring up your word and if you are new this is where we reflect on what we just um saw but actually i don't know i got out of that too fast sorry guys there is a scripture after this so the scripture after that video is faith is the reality of what we hope for the proof of what we don't see hmm. Faith is the reality of what we hope for, the proof of what we don't see. So faith is proof of the reality that you're wanting. So believing is proof of the reality that you're wanting. Ain't that something if you think about it? People never, ever, ever probably step out on faith because it sounds crazy right believing is proof ain't that crazy believing is proof so believing something that you can't see is proof that it is like all oh, the words are like so um backwards it, it just doesn't make sense so somebody that is very logical and 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 um you know is 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 they ha they basically if it doesn't make sense to them it's going to be really hard to exercise the the element of faith in yourself because if we're saying faith is proof how can you ever how can you believe believe what you're seeing if it's not reality yet you know it's just the words are it's like everything you've been taught you need to rewind it you know and 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 relearn again because people always say show me the proof prove it to me but the thing is faith is the proof Believing in something that you don't see is the proof. So that's just amazing uh, wordage right there. If you think about it. Because it's like, if you're the type of person that wants things to be proven to you, you know, you will never be able to move mountains. Like he said, you'll, you'll never be able to um, accomplish great things in this lifetime because you don't have the faith and as if you don't have the faith it says faith is the reality of what we hope for it makes me question 
are we even hoping for anything? Because if we see the things that we have, you know, are we exercising hope? You know, that's another element right there. Are we even exercising hope? Because faith is the reality of what we hope for. So if we're not hoping for nothing, we only live off reality of what we see right now in our current moment. So if what you see right now in your current moment is not a lot and you already don't have faith and you already don't hope for nothing, why you kind of question, do you even believe in God? Like, honestly, because God is so much greater. You got to hope for something. You got to hope for something. Whether it's hoping for health um, or hoping for um, a house or hoping for a relationship to get repaired. You know, you got to hope for something because those things aren't present yet. Those things aren't reality yet gotta have faith so the the verbiage in that is crazy crazy so um if we go back to this slide um you want to go ahead and brainstorm about um what we just saw and um just to go back on that video that we were we saw um he said, um, you'll have the power to move mountains. You'll be able to speak to mountains when you learn how to exercise belief, you know, without seeing. That is power. Like, what is a mountain in your life right now that it seems impossible to climb over? What is a mountain? Maybe that's something that you need to write about in your word. Uh, journal, what is a mountain in your life that you want to see moved? Now ask yourself, do you even believe that is movable? Do you believe God is, is capable of moving something like that in your life? This is powerful stuff. This isn't just words. This is power. It's like a magic, but it's more than magic. It's power because you and God have to co-create in order to in order for him to move in your life. You need to be able to believe in him. He can only show up as much as you believe. You know. He can't, he can't work miracles if you don't hope for anything. Faith is the reality of what we hope for. If you don't hope for anything, how can he move in your life? So I want you to pause this video and, um, you know, just brainstorm and reflect on what you saw today. And I always like this one right here. What do you feel compelled to tell God after today's reading? Write down your prayer. All right, so we're just going to continue. So I always got the let's compare. You know, this is one of my favorites. And this is kind of last minute. I'm not even going to front with you guys. But it was pretty interesting because I actually, uh, on my TikTok, I actually read this quote last week. Um, so it kind of like, was right on time. So let's go ahead and see. So this is Steve Jobs. If you don't know who Steve Jobs is, he's, um, I believe he is the co-founder or founder of Apple, which is a huge, 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 huge technology device um, in the world. And um, he's very, very known for um, computers and um, big things like that. Very, very known for that. Um, so this is a quote that I, I took from him. 
Um, it said, he, he said, uh, Steve Jobs, very, very intelligent man. He said, your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied, truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, you know when you'll find it. Mm. Lots of knowledge in here, right? He said, your work is going to fill a large part of your life. So if you think about our life in like, um, like a jar, whatever we're working on is going to be majority of that jar that gets filled. Um, so we have to make sure that, you know, it's satisfying. Um, and not only satisfying, you got to love what you do. And I love when he says, if you haven't found it yet, keep looking. It just makes me think for him to even say that. He didn't even start off, you know, thinking that Apple was going to be, you know, something that he did. He did. He probably started off with something totally different. But he said, don't settle. Hmm. Don't settle for what, you know, you thought that you was going to be, or don't settle for something. Even if you've been in the field for so long, keep looking as with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you'll find it, you'll just fall in love. That's beautiful. So if we go to the Holy Bible and we kind of compare what he said to a scripture, um, it says in Proverbs 16, 3, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Now, the reason why I um, kind of had some similarities going on in my mind when I thought about this and what Steve Jobs said was because it says, commit your work to the Lord. And then he said, your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And it just reminded me on the, of the, myself and on the journey that I'm on. And it came back to me like, I had to follow God in order to find out what I truly loved, what I I what is satisfying to me because I didn't know myself. I had to keep looking. I didn't settle. So I had to commit my work, everything that I do, I had to bring it back to God and say, is this what you need me to do? Is this what I'm, am I even on the right path? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Lord, can you confirm it for me? Can you send me a sign? Am I, am I, am I, am I, Am I at the right place? And your plans will succeed. So just being able to be in the right work. And it says, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. And it just brings me right back again. Like the reason why I want God to be in my work is because he is the greatest. So if I can learn from the greatest, the greatest being, then I can learn how to do great work. So it just, the comparison to me was there. It might not be there for you, but for me, um, it was, it was there for me. So um, I hope you guys, um, find your own comparison and if it doesn't compare, it doesn't compare, but if it does compare, write your own comparison down on, you know, what Steve Jobs said and what the Holy Bible, uh, scripture, um, states and maybe how you intertwine in between these guys as, I mean, between these two, um, 
passages as well. All right, so that was it today. I am going to head off to bed. Um, I will see you guys Monday, February 20th. Um, and have a great rest of your night. Have a great rest of your day tomorrow and finish off the week strong and pray that I get better because me being sick is not what's up. <laughs> um, messes with my focus. So thank you guys. Have a great day. Have a great night. Peace.